Hello. Hello, hi everyone. Is anyone joining? No one joining yet. Just gonna wait a, a minute or so until uh, everyone joins. Um, how are you everyone? Enjoying the long weekend? I am, because I'm not working, so I'm uh, spending time at home, not doing, uh, not doing much. Enjoying time with my son and all those things, which is good. For a chef, you know, we don't get to spend much time with, uh, with family, so it's good to have this um, break and um, yeah, enjoy some time with the, with the son. Um, yeah, we're almost ready to go with this, uh, with this recipe. It's a simple, uh, simple and easy, I mean, and fast to make recipe. Um, yesterday, Barilla on their Instagram, they uh, shared the recipe, so I'm not sure if anyone is brave enough to try and cook it with me. It's, it's quite simple, so it's not really, um, it's not really something that uh, you need too much skills to do. Um, but that's what we chefs always say, you know, we always say, uh, it's easy, it's easy, everything is easy, but um, in reality for, uh, let's call it normal people, it's not. So, um, otherwise, what's the plan for lunch? Any plan for lunch? You guys doing anything? And by the way, if you have any questions, just um, write them in the comments and um, we'll try to um, answer them. Only if they are not inappropriate questions. Though. And I got my wife, today's filming. She's, um, if you wanted to wonder from where she comes from, it's here. This is my tea towel for the day coming straight from Puglia, I don't know if you can see, if anyone's been to Puglia, beautiful. I'm not paying by Puglia anyway to do, uh, to do advertising or anything, but I just need to make the wife happy. What do you think, Claudia, we can start? Let's start. All right, so we start with the recipe. I got the recipe here because we chefs, um, you know, we write a recipe and then we change it all the time. So I'll try to stick to the recipe that is written there, but don't judge me if it's not gonna be 100% the same. So first thing that we're gonna do, we are going to um, do the thyme oil. So I get this one. I should say the recipe is rigatoni, obviously barilla rigatoni with uh, zucchini cream, crispy, we're gonna use guanciale and thyme oil. Before I start, maybe a couple of things about Barilla. I think everyone is familiar with Barilla. I have, I remember I visited when I was at um, the hotelry school in Italy, we went to visit the, um, the factory, the main factory in, uh, in Parma, which is um, about one hour south of Milan. And it was quite an impressive operation. They have the biggest uh, pasta producer in the world. And um, I think for us Italian, it's one of those icon brands, um, like other big brands that, that we have. And, uh, you know, definitely something that you grow up with, with the, with the Barilla, Barilla thinking like a, the brand for pasta. Anyway, let's start with the oil. Um, what's the oil here? Okay, so thyme oil. Got this beautiful thyme here. This one comes from my, I have a little, uh, let's call it garden out there. It's not really successful, but the thyme is doing pretty well. I quite like thyme. It's probably my favorite, um, or one of my favorite herbs to use, uh, especially with zucchini. I think it works very well, thyme and margarine. The garlic, we're just gonna crush it like that. I don't know if you guys have seen others, the other uh, video that I've done during this uh, last couple of months, uh, where I explain why, why I like the garlic like this, but I'll explain it again. The videos are on my um, Instagram uh, page. So. I, I, I quite like, I really like the flavor of garlic, but I don't maybe necessarily like too much garlic or raw garlic, so raw garlic flavor. So in this case, you know, you, you crush it like that and you get that nice flavor of garlic coming out, but it's still more protected and, and doesn't get um, that strong flavor. And because we're gonna cook it, you get the nice beautiful aroma, that nice smell of garlic without being overpowering. Okay, so we put olive oil. Look for this one, even if you make too much of this oil, you can always skip it later and use it, say to, for example, if you do roasted potato, you can season them with this olive oil, um, meat, if you do like a steak, you can, um, you can season it with this, olive, with this infused olive oil. So it's a beautiful olive, infused olive oil that you can, uh, you can add. So I'm just gonna put it on the stove um, on a very, very low heat. So it should get about to about 80 degrees. I have induction so so that's easier to do because you just put a number and it will uh, sort of stick to a temperature, but um, if you have gas, just keep it on the lowest. So I'm just gonna put it here. And 
So we have a comment. Yeah. Um, someone said that the Barilla, they watched the Barilla episode of how to do, um, on how they make that. And it was super impressive to yes. learn how each batch um, is done. Yes, as I said, I remember when I visited the factory, it's a few years ago, I'm, uh, I'm not that young anymore, but um, it, was, it was quite impressive, the operation they do there. Anyway, uh, and if you have more questions, just um, please put them there and we will um, try to reply. This is the guanciale. So in the recipe we said um, bacon. Uh, this is guanciale. So basically what it is, is the pork chick, um, which has been um, cured with salt and then uh, pepper around and um, dry age. This one I made it myself, it's still a little bit soft, it should dry a little bit longer, but um, um, yeah, it's quite good. We actually tried the recipe yesterday with my wife and it came out pretty good, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the result. Let me check. I was. Sorry? I was, <laughs> I was very pleased. Yeah, okay, the oil seems to be going good, all good. So now we're gonna start to cut this guanciale. Um, don't judge, my knife is not very sharp, I just realized. But I haven't uh, been in the kitchen for a while, so I haven't sharp, sharpened my knife. So we're just gonna slice it relatively small. And in the recipe I said, what did I say? 80 grams for four people. Look, it's up to you how much you want to put, really. If you like to have more of this uh, flavor and you'll see it come out nice and crunchy, then, you know, you can put a little bit more. Uh, you can put less. You know, it's quite a flexible um, quite a flexible recipe. So just slice it like this. And then we're going to dice it. Just going to dice it. Right. Just like that. I'm embarrassed with the knife not being sharp, sorry. I think it's quite important that you have always um, a sharp knife. Um, I think you've got more chances to cut yourself with a non-sharp knife than you have with a, with a sharp knife. All right, so we keep slicing. Someone keeps sending me messages. Just annoying me. If you're watching, you're annoying me sending me messages. No, I'm joking, it's okay. I can handle both things. Yeah, there are some people asking how they could join the live session. Okay. Actually. Um, that's a good question. How do you join the live session? They have to click on the profile photo of Barilla Australia. Okay, that's it, that's your answer. My wife is the expert in technology, not me, so. Yeah, I guess you go on Instagram. I think we have Karin. Karin, ciao Karin. Ciao Karin, and Ça then va? we have Jenny. Ça va bien? Jenny, how is Sasha? <laughs> Got my fan, you know, I, I send it out to my friends. It's probably only a few friends watching this, it's not, it's not maybe many people uh, watching it. All right, and they keep sending me message, messages. Okay, so the one child, eh, I need to check the back because just to make sure nothing is burning. Kali, you tell me if I'm too slow. Okay. Okay, so the oil is good. This one is the water boiling, ready. So the guanciale, I'm just gonna leave it here and then when we go to the stove, I'm gonna show you what we do with this. Now with the zucchini, I'm gonna use the same chopping board because it's for the same recipe. Normally, it would be good if you wash or in a restaurant, we would definitely wash the chopping board um, or change it. So the zucchini, this one a beautiful green zucchini, some call it black, put it in the compost. And so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a cream. So ideally, you don't wanna use too much on the, of the inside. I should have said before, I try to pick the zucchini that are not too large because they don't have too, many, too much uh, seeds inside, which is this part, which is good, but uh, probably for this recipe, we like to use more of the green. But with the green part, um, I mean, with the inside part, which is this one, don't throw it away. What I did uh, with the cream that I made yesterday, I kept the inside part, we chopped it up, and then we made a frittata or, um, an, uh, for dinner, or you can make like a roasted vegetables or something. So don't, uh, definitely don't waste it. You don't use it for this recipe, but um, definitely don't waste it. Or if you want, I mean, you can use the old zucchini 
for um, if you want to just the cream won't come out as green and um, we chefs like like to do you know when you make something that is green like a pesto or, a, or a, say like a silver bit cream or something like that we like to make it uh, very green so that's why okay so the zucchini that's like this first and then Imagine I cut myself right now. So Chris is asking if he can join to eat. Of course. Join to eat? Okay. Is that called a self uh, invitation? Yeah, of course. There'll be plenty of pasta, so join. Why not? Yeah, we do have quite a lot there. Okay, so this one you don't have to chop it too um, evenly, just sort of roughly so that they cook evenly. And we want to then boil them. Okay. Try not to drop it on the floor. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and last one here. Ah, yes, um, you can join for lunch, but we're going to charge. I forgot to mention that. We're going to charge. Uh, how much shall we charge, Claudia? Hmm, good question. Good question. Okay. I think so we can make an exception. Make an exception, okay. So now, uh, one second again, we're going to do the parmigiano. And then, did I write parmigiano in the recipe? Yes, I did. So with the parmesan, you, you can grate it inside. What I like to do is these sort of wedges, or I don't know what you call them in English, slices. I don't know what they're called in English. And we're just gonna do slices like this, which will go on top. All right. Yeah. This one back there. This one goes here. And I think now we are probably ready to go back to go on the stove. Yes. Let me check the recipe. Yes. Let's go. Let's go this side on the stove. Okay, so I got water boiling here. We should put salt. So one water is for the zucchini. We're gonna put a decent amount of salt. And for pasta also we're gonna put salt. Always, I'm sure everyone knows by now, you cook pasta in uh, a lot of um, um, so lightly salted water. It's about uh, seven grams of salt per liter of um, water. It needs to be boiling. We're probably gonna drop the pasta, so. We might even be ready. So we have Gabriel asking, what's the best pasta recipe for a six month old boy? <laughs> Look, six months, I guess, you know, it's up to you. you just, um, I mean, six months is probably a bit early to eat this recipe, but you know, you, I'm, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, you can. But otherwise I'd say a small pasta, like a risotto, for example. Yeah. Something like that would be good. So, as you can see, it's all precisely measured on how much pasta. Is that enough, Claudia? You always uh, tell me how much pasta we should do. I think it is. Yeah. What I like to do, a little trick on pasta. See, it says 12 minutes cooking here for al dente. I'm sure everyone knows what al dente is. I would say I'll cook it for 10 because then we're going to finish it. It's going to take a bit of time. So I got a timer so I don't get it wrong. And... Um, in the meantime, also we're gonna cook the zucchini, so salty water. We're just gonna put them in. Okay, and bring it to the boil. And also we're gonna cook the one chale. So just put it in. You can, um, so I was saying before about the one chale or the bacon, you can use, um, you can use, um, I mean, one chale is one thing which is very similar to pancetta, so it's basically the same process to what I explained before, but uh, one is made with the pork cheek and one is made with the pork belly, which is the pancetta, and then you have the bacon, which is made with the, mostly the pork belly, uh, but it's a different process, and normally it's, it's cooked and um, also generally smoked. 
So it's kind of two different things. Both things will work for this recipe, but my preference would be for guanciale or pancetta. As you can see, the cut is quite rough um, because of my knife not being too sharp and also because of the, the guanciale being um, uh, quite soft still, but it will come out nice and crispy. So on, say, four, this is the fire uh, strength, four out of nine, so kind of medium heat, and we're just gonna let it um, slowly cook there. Our beautiful oil at the back, stir the pasta a bit. Is this enough pasta, Claudia, for us? Yeah, Are I you think hungry? so. You very hungry? I am. Okay, so with all the oil, we can probably increase a bit of the temperature there. And the, mm, the smell start to come out. Can you smell it, Claudia? Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, it's very lime and garlic, beautiful. Fantastico. Okay, so we cook this one. Am I forgetting something? I don't think so. So, um, let, me, let me increase here. Let's do like this. This one can go like that. And this one can go like this. Okay, so um, with this zucchini cream that we're going to make, what we're going to do basically once it's cooked for about five minutes, we're going to strain it and we're going to blend it. Uh, it might be a little bit too much for this recipe, but the good thing is that you can um, you can keep it, the cream, and you can make, um, it can be like a soup. Uh, once again, with this risoni pasta, for example, which we eat a lot here at home because we eat a lot of soups. Um, so it's like a little, basically looks like rice. My friend uh, Alessandro Pavoni did a recipe with it the first, um, a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, you can do a nice um, cream, with the leftover cream, we can, you can make a nice soup. Just gonna increase here the fire a little bit. How about making this recipe a vegetarian recipe? Yes, of course, that's a good question, Claudia, brava. So basically, what you can do, you avoid this part. You avoid um, the pancetta or bacon or whatever you want to put, and you just mix the zucchini with the pasta. Instead of the parmigiano, to give it a bit more flavor, what you can use, and you can find it probably in, um, in an Italian deli, uh, you can use, uh, it's called ricotta salata. So what it is basically is ricotta which is uh, salted and a little bit aged for maybe probably about three weeks. So it comes, it's, it's firmer and you can grate it. So you can grate it on top and it would be, and it would be you know, it would be pretty good. Another thing that you can do is make it um, a pescatarian or a, a, a fish recipe. So you can use, instead of bacon, this one would go perfectly with, um, with uh, now I just remember I forgot something. It go perfectly with um, prawns or scallops or even crab meat. Uh, it would be quite good. So basically, same process. Instead of um, instead of cooking the bacon and putting it in, you cook prawn and put those prawn, you know, crab or, or scallops. I forgot. We're gonna put a few leaves of meat in here. You boil them together. Got a lot of meat. And here. why is that? Meat. I mean, zucchini and meat is like. Um, I mean, it's a it's a nor, it's a classic uh, combination. It works very well. So we're just going to put a few leaves in there, just to give a bit of that minty minty flavor. We have a lot of meat here, so tonight, Claudia, you know what's going to happen with this meat? Yeah, we're going to make a cocktail. We're going to make mojitos. Oh exactly. yes, uh, Matteo is really good at making cocktail. I have to say. Nice. I'm quite happy lately. Lately? What do you mean? It wasn't good before? No. No, <laughs> no, because you you were can just I working say, can I say too bad much. In this, uh, <laughs> because I... you didn't have enough time. That's okay, it. Push. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the guanciale, see the all the fat is starting to render. What you can do with this fat, once there be a lot of fat in the pan, we can keep it. And once again, you can use it when you cook potatoes and things like that. Pasta is still four and a half minutes. To go, we stir it. The smell, oh Nicely my goodness, cooked. yeah. Um, and Matteo, where can they find the recipe uh, after the live is finished? Yeah, so I think Barilla House, they posted the recipe yesterday already, but it'll be, um, it will be posted again. And um, also the video will be posted on YouTube, on the Barilla House YouTube channel and on, um, Instagram uh, TV. 
So um, remember, Claudia, you have to save the video and then yep. and post it after. Don't forget that. No, I won't. We should have some wine or something. I should have made the mojito while I do this. That that would have been a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, we can still do it after. Yes. Yes. Why not? <laughs> All right, this one is cooking beautifully. The smell that is coming out is absolutely amazing. So how many minutes again the zucchini So the has zucchini should be around five minutes five or until minutes. they are uh, they, they, they're soft. So the, oh. yeah, they're getting quite soft now. So very soon we're gonna take them away, take them off and start blending them. This one is done beautifully. Oh, look at the oil. Amazing. Shame people can't just smell what mm. we are smelling right yeah. now. Beautiful. Okay, so the zucchini are ready. We're going to strain before the pasta is ready. So we're just going to strain them and we're going to blend them. Let me put, decrease the fire here a little bit. Slowly, see it's beautiful coming out. As I said, there's a, quite a lot of fat coming out because it's obviously the fat rendering. So we can strain it. I'm gonna make a mess now. <laughs> strain it in there, slowly. Whoa. Beautiful, and that one will be on our Roasted potato. Okay, oil, pasta, all good to go. We're going to blend the zucchini now. So, just put everything in that with the mint. Get rid of this. And now, while we blend this, we are going to. So, we're going to strain the oil, the thyme oil inside. It's nice and beautiful. Mm. Amazing. Let me put this one. Okay, so it's gonna be noisy now. So I'm gonna start blending and then we add a little bit of this oil just to give flavor. And one thing also, we're gonna add salt. Yes. Okay. Lower again, this is good. Start blending. And we're gonna add the oil and you do it like this so you can see. I mean it's up to you how much oil you want to put, probably I should go a bit faster. It's nice and green. And ooh, see why you want to put less time on pasta because now we don't have time to strain it, but we got another minute that we can cook it. Nice, nice, mm. nice. A little bit of salt, and we're gonna blend it for another 30 seconds, and we're gonna strain the pasta in the meantime. Okay. All right. Pasta is ready, strain 
So I should have done the other way around so you could see. Drain this one off. Turn off everything. Gonna strain it. Normally I'd say keep a bit of the cooking liquid. So see this, this is cooking liquid, it's gold, because you can always add it into the sauce to make it more, um, you know, soft if you, if you wish. So what we can do now is clean up one second. It's too messy. That's what we have here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, now we are ready. You don't really need to cook the pasta. The, I mean, cook the sauce any longer. You just put it in there, just toss it a bit, and you can add your cream. Let me taste it again. Yeah, so with a bit of salt, so we can put salt in there. And we're just gonna add the cream. You can add as much as you want, really. I mean, I'm adding this amount, which looks good enough. Can you do this at all? Mm. Jenny, can you do this? <laughs> Maybe Alban can. Alban can do it, yeah. <laughs> is Alban there? I'm sure he's watching. I think he is, yeah. Yeah, lovely, look at this. And now that's why you have your, your did I make a mess of myself? Nope. Okay, you can add a bit of this water. From the pasta. From the pasta, a little bit more of this zucchini. And we're almost there. Almost there. How long has it been? Oh, it's been a bit too long. All right, look at this. And now, give it there a second. Just let me grab the plates and get rid of this. Parmigiano, what you can do is you just put it around like that, mm. and if you want, you can garnish with some uh, fresh thyme, which will give it a nice extra smell coming up. Yeah, I can smell the thyme already. And that's it. All right, now we're going to taste it. Have you ever seen a chef tasting his own food and saying it's not good? You know, especially when people are not trying. It. I'm going to say it's delicious because it is, but. You'll never Ooh. see a chef saying, what have you done? I actually turned. <laughs> she wanted to be shown in the video. For me, it's pretty good. I don't know. What do you think, Claudia? But maybe you should try it. You gonna try it? No, I'll let you try. No? Okay, she's too shy. I'm too shy mm. for the camera. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think we should go and get my son, Daniela, and, and start eating now. Wow. All right, so that's the recipe. I hope you enjoyed. Um, just want to say something. I just um, uh, launched my, my website, which is www.matteozamboni.com. It's not finished 100%, but it's almost there. So go and check it out if you have some time. Talks about, about, about uh, a little bit more about me. And uh, that's it, Claudia. Let's sit. I'm hungry. Yeah, I actually Ciao, want to thank try. Thank you for joining. And buon appetito, everyone. Buon appetito. Don't mm. say it's not good, Claudia. You need to say it's good. No, it is delicious. Mmm. Alrighty. Enjoy the long weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Thank you. Mm.